Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I wanted to kick this off by thanking you guys so, so much for all of your just really, really kind, loving words about Miss Butters and uh, the loss in our family. So thank you so, so much. Uh, Miss Butters is doing much better. Um, she's, let's say her tummy is, is less active. We'll say that. And uh, the new food that we've given her uh, seems to be working. She seems to really enjoy it. Uh, so all is well. We have a follow-up with the vet in about a week's time. She wants to do some, you know, blood work um, and make sure she is okay. But I am very, very optimistic that um, it is going to just blow over and she's gonna be back to her old self. So that is really, really exciting. Um, what's going on today? Not much. I had Pilates this morning. So I ran yesterday, I ran uh, about a 6K and you know, was feeling pretty good. It wasn't that warm out. It, there was like slight cloud cover, so it was a great run. Um, but I was super, super sweaty. I don't know what was going on. I was just like dripping with sweat. Anyway, I guess I was running a little bit faster than usual because my time when I got home, I was a little bit surprised at how early it was. And I felt fine all day yesterday, a little bit tired. But when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh no. <laughs> Everything felt like a little bit tight. I did stretch a little bit. I'm not the best at uh, stretching as much as I should, especially after running. Uh, but I did stretch a bit and apparently it wasn't enough. So I thought, awesome, I'll go to Pilates today. And it's always like a nice stretch to go to Pilates. It was a nice stretch, but she also like just really worked my legs, which were already tired. So by the end of the class, we were doing like leg circles. <laughs> And I had like no control over them. They were like not circles at all. They were more like rounded V's in a way. So I have like no control of all of my limbs today, which is really a sight to behold because I'm, I'm a clumsy person. I've already tripped up my stairs, down my stairs. It's, it's been a good day. I went to Pilates. I did some grocery shopping at Whole Foods and then I started filming. I'm doing a full day wear test for this concealer, which you guys, yeah, you guys have already seen uh, once I put this vlog up, but it is the new La Prairie Skin Caviar Perfecting Concealer. It's amazing. I mean, it, I, they shouldn't even really call it a concealer. They should call it a tinted eye cream because that's really what it is and what it feels like. So far, it's amazing. It's only been a couple of hours, uh, but so far it's amazing. But it is lunchtime. So why don't we go downstairs and make some lunch? Mommy's come down to make lunch. <laughs> All right, so for lunch today, I have some leftover um, rice and quinoa, this like mix. And so I'm just gonna nuke that, but I'm gonna pour on top of it some saute kale. So I went to Whole Foods this morning right after my Pilates, I think I mentioned that. And I got some chopped kale and I'm gonna brown some pumpkin seeds with some satay seasoning that I have, throw the kale on top, saute it all together, and then mix it in with the rice and quinoa. <laughs> How did that happen, baby? Are we are we are we doing a slip back look today? Okay. Whew, 
that was a filling filling lunch but really really good i am really enjoying that lunch i've had it several times this past week and i'm such a heavy meat eater that it's nice to have a really filling meal that isn't like meat centric uh, anyway, I just got some like random PR packages that I thought I would share with you guys and open up with you right now. Um, the first one is from Holly Frog, and they have a lovely skincare line. They have just come out with their, these packages are just so adorable. So here is the card. The moment is here, the final cleanser in our situational cleansing lineup. The Sunapi Sacred Sea Brightening Powder Wash. Bright your face, gentle exfoliant for even you sensitive ones. And also a fine tune-up to add on top of any other Holly Wash. Here is the inside of the box. This is what a map of New Hampshire and there's Lake Sunapi right there. So here's the packaging. To use, add a few drops of water to a pea-sized amount of powder and emulsify together to activate the formula. Tweak your mixture's ratio depending on whether you want a stronger scrub with a thicker paste uh, or a lighter foamy lather for gentle buffing. You can also sprinkle a pinch of the powder into any other Holly Frog cleanser for an exfoliating boost to your cleansing ritual. How awesome. Let's take a look. Look how cute. Yeah, their packaging is just so adorable. So I don't know if this is going to be good for my sensitive eczema prone skin. The first ingredient is bentonite and then the third ingredient is kaolin. I believe both of those are like a clay. I know kaolin is. I don't know if bentonite is actually a clay, but I know kaolin is. And, um, and it actually dries out my skin just a little bit too much. I'd be willing to give it a shot just once. My skin definitely, as I'm getting older, surprisingly, my skin is actually getting better and a little bit less sensitive. So maybe I will try it. It has rice bran, cornstarch, aloe vera leaf juice. So that's a new product from Holly Frog. And then I got this big box from Erno Laszlo. They sent me a bunch of their things. And a long while ago, I wanna say maybe two years ago, I used one of their um, bars of soap. It was actually, I feel like a two-step cleansing process. I don't know if I'm remembering correctly. I feel like there was a cleanser and then the soap you were supposed to kind of like rub on your face on top of the cleanser. It was kind of like a double cleanse, but at the same time, I don't know if I'm remembering correctly. Anyway, I really enjoyed that. So this is a very welcome box. So they've included the Felatil uh, cleansing bar. It's a hydrating facial cleansing bar, brings on pH balance perfection, Etc. Etc. All right, and an AHA resurfacing sleep serum, a multitask eye serum mask. Ooh, that looks awesome. It's one of those like under the eye masks. The Transfuse Eye Refiner. Don't know what that is, but I'll take a look. The Furb and Lift Moisturizer. It has an SPF uh, 30 in there, and it looks like it's all chemical sunscreens. And then here's the Hydrate and Nourish Sleep Mask. It's our memory gel mask that melts into your skin, replenishing the moisture it can lose overnight. Smart hydrators boost skin's moisture levels, wake up to a hydrated, restored, and refreshed complexion. Sounds good. I'm very curious about this gel mask texture. Here's what the jar looks like. Ooh, it's, it is like a gel. Can you guys see that? <laughs> very, very faint. It smells like oil of Olay. All right, the memory sleep mask. And then they also sent, let's see, the Hydrate and Nourish Hydrotherapy Skin Vitality Treatment Two-Phase, oh, moisture mask. All right, it says it is a mix to activate hydrating modeling mask that quenches thirsty skin, soothes, cools. You guys know how much I love a cooling face product. And instantly plumps on skin surface at a cellular level. Oh. Oh, neat. So it is definitely one of those uh, sheet mask situations, but I guess you kind of like mix it up from like a powder. I'm really curious about this now too. Oh, all right. There's like four jars in here. This is the step one. And then, and then this is the step two, what's in this packet. And then they give you, they give you a little mixing spatula. Oh, well that looks very cool. So big thank you to Erno Laszlo for sending over this lovely box. Very interesting stuff. And then last but not least, I got this uh, pristine 
Premium Natural Rose Quartz Vibrating Facial Roller and Massager. I think this is the brand. Gain Zeal. Yeah. Gain Zeal. And this is the little roller kit. So there's like a rose quartz roller ball. And then this is, I guess, just kind of like a flat top, like a stationary one. It doesn't roll. And I think you can probably use that to like reduce like puffiness and stuff. And it looks like it's rechargeable. Well, thank you very much for this too. Now I have a lot of like facial tools. I'm still playing around with my uh, Rifa Carrot Ray face roller. I really, really love it. It feels so, so good. I don't know that I'm seeing like a lot of contouring per se but I wonder if it's just one of those things that's like preventative. I'll come back to you in 20 years and let you know <laughs> how it works, just kidding. I do feel like there's a little bit more definition here that I was definitely losing with my quarantine diet, for sure. But yeah, we'll see. Oh, I need to put more body tanner on my neck. It's just so pale compared to the rest of my body. It's like really sad. All right, that's it for my little PR unboxing. Um, I guess I'm gonna go upstairs. Oh, you know what I have to do actually? What time is it? Yes, it is time for me to film a um, check-in for this La Prairie um, concealer full day wear test. So I'm gonna do that now and I'll be back later. Hi, I just got back from a walk with uh, Miss Butters. It is, can you tell by how shiny my face is? It is like broiling hot outside. I had a hat on. I had put SPF on um, earlier today and wow, I mean, I just was like, <laughs> just dripping with sweat. And oh my gosh, you have to see, you have to see Miss Butters resting up here. <laughs> Baby, it was hot out, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, you rest up. So I was just going through some of my comments, you know, I wanted to like reply to some or whatever. And I saw one comment, I'm laughing because, well, I'll tell you what the comment said. It was like, um, wow, you know, like green juice and, I don't know, she listed, I guess, a whole bunch of stuff that I had talked about in the vlog. Uh, she's like, you seem really, really healthy. And I was like, no, I, I'm not. And I'm like, is that all I've been showing you guys? I mean, I'm showing you the more interesting stuff, um, but I, I'm not like that healthy. I, I try to be, um, but I pretty much like eat everything. So I do eat a lot of healthy food, but I also do eat a lot of very decadent food and it's snack time. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. And um, it's like when I like to come down, if I'm feeling really sluggish, I will have like a coffee or something. I'll make myself a coffee or I just, you know, need a little pick me up. So today uh, my little pick me up are cronut holes. So these cronut holes are a couple days old. And in fact, I think my husband attacked them earlier today, but I got them from Pink Box Donuts, if you're in the Vegas area. Excellent, excellent. Am I gonna eat all of these? Maybe. <laughs> there are the donut holes. So they're cronut, which is like this croissant donut hybrid, and they're glazed. And I'm sitting here debating, do I want a coffee? I think I need one. I think I'm good. All right, I decided to go with a little bit of coffee. I just made myself one shot of espresso. <laughs> One shot of espresso. But I just don't feel like you can have like a baked good without some coffee. So good. I definitely cannot eat all of these. One, two, three, four. That was one, there's six left. Yeah, no, I'll probably have like two more. Today is definitely a chugging my coffee day, as opposed to sip leisurely all morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I just got my Blue Bottle coffee subscription box. So excited. I thought I'd open it with you guys, see what we got this month. Ah, we got an oldie but goodie blend from them. This is their 17 foot ceiling blend. So the past couple of months, they've been sending me some like special, like summer blends, which have been really nice, like a little bit lighter, like and like fruitier in flavor, but this one is like a really good kind of like bold um, espresso blend. Let's see what they say. It's a pleasant, consistent espresso, plump and complex, enjoyable without being demanding. It is caramel and nutty, and a 17 foot ceiling is like flipping through the New Yorker, sophisticated without teetering on hoity-toity, edifying without being taxing. Wow, that is close to like a makeup description. 
Well, I'm doing a no makeup day. I'm kind of letting my face rest. So I'm not going to be filming today. Well, other than vlogging with you guys, uh, but I'm not going to be doing any kind of like sit down filming today, which is kind of nice. And I have a little bit of a busy day. I have to take Miss Butters to daycare and I'm going to go get my nails done. And then I'm meeting my parents for lunch, which should be really, really nice. We're going to their favorite seafood place in their neighborhood. So that's the plan for today. And then I have to edit my video for tomorrow and that's it. A nice day ahead. So I'll take you guys along for as much of it as I can. And yeah, that's it. Come on, butters. Ready? Oh, okay, baby. Get comfy. All right. You all set? Mm. Mm. You have a toy here? Okay. Comfy back there, Butters? Do you want the moon roof open? All right, just got my nails done. I went with, surprising, I went with black again, <laughs> but I'm happy for the refresh. So back home and I'm gonna do some work and then I'm off to meet my parents for lunch. So I just got back from lunch with my parents. I had, just to explain that little shot, I had um, Chilean sea bass, uh, my mom had fried calamari, my dad had some sand apps, and my husband had um, spicy tuna crispy rice, I think you saw like the waitress put that down, and then some like salmon sushi pieces and a miso soup, and it was all really, really good. So we rushed home to have some ice cream and we bought these waffle bowls and I just have to show you, they fit perfectly in my new style bowls. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yes. I could only run a 5k which is fine it's a lot hotter out than I thought it's about 85 degrees it's only 7 10 in the morning oh I cannot stop sweating I'm going to cool down try to cool down shower uh, we're gonna go get some of our favorite protein smoothies at protein house but I forgot to tell you guys I ordered a Vitamix I'm really excited. I used to be really big into juicing and now I just buy my celery juice because it's just so much easier. Um, so I have a juicer, but I don't really have like a blender. I have like a hand blender, which is not good enough for a smoothie. But I think living here in Vegas and on these days where it's so hot, I just want something like cold for breakfast. I don't want an egg and bacon. And so I don't want any of that. I just want something cold. And when I don't have time to go get a smoothie, I end up eating like cereal or something, which does nothing for me. I'm like hungry again in a half an hour. So uh, yeah, so I bit the bullet, bought a Vitamix. When it comes, I will definitely show you. I'm gonna have to play around with some recipes um, and I'm gonna try and recreate this green beast smoothie that we love from Protein House. <laughs> we'll see, I'm sure it's gonna be a disaster at the beginning. So that's the plan for this morning. And then I'm going to film, edit, upload because I don't have anything filmed and I need to get a video up for tomorrow. Uh, I should actually probably film a couple, at least a couple of videos. All right, I'm just gonna sit here and just try and cool off a little bit. Oh, 
Good morning, everyone. I've got my coffee here. I've got my sheep mug. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this particular mug of mine, but as someone who used to be a hand knitwear designer, I have a lot of sheep paraphernalia. Love wool, love my sheep. And today is Father's Day. So I'm waiting for Miss Butters to finish up her breakfast. I'm gonna throw that I love daddy t-shirt on and let her loose. Usually I put a gate up so that she just kind of stays downstairs and I'll, you know, play with her or do whatever. She usually kind of goes back to sleep. But if I leave the gate open and the gate is to like the upstairs, if I leave the gate open, she runs up there like a torpedo to go after my husband in bed. She definitely sees him more as a playmate. Like she never comes at me that way. She'll like jump into bed and then like snuggle in with me. But when it comes to my husband, Oh man, she just starts like patting his head. She'll like take the blanket with her teeth and pull them back to wake him up. She does all kinds of crazy stuff. It's so funny. So anyway, I'm gonna put that t-shirt on her, let her loose and try and figure out what to do today. I actually woke up really early to uh, finish editing a video that I just, <laughs> just didn't feel like editing uh, yesterday to get up today. Um, and it's kind of a long video. So anyway, it took me a little bit but um, it is uploading now and it's just taking forever. I always think like, oh, Sunday morning, it's gonna be quiet. No one, no one here is gonna be like on their Wi-Fi. Oh no, oh no. It is, it has been over an hour and it says I have 13 minutes left, so yay. And I'm trying to edit my video for tomorrow, get that out of the way so that I can have like the rest of my day free. So other than letting Miss Butters loose on my husband, I don't really have a lot of plans for today. <gasps> Miss Butters, are you done eating? I think it's t-shirt time. Okay, baby, come here. Oh, who's such a good girl? Look, look, your t-shirt. Show everyone your t-shirt. Okay, just gonna put this on. Come here. I know, I know, clothing is not your favorite. Armholes are very big. Okay. Yeah, it's a little big on you, but that's okay. That's okay, baby. Look at this cute I Love Daddy t shirt. Oh my goodness. Aren't you just. Are you ready? Are you ready to attack Daddy? It's a little early, but I know he won't mind. <laughs> You look sleepy yourself. You have an eye boogie. You have an eye boogie, baby. Are you ready? Oh my god, butters, I love it. You look like you have a muscle tee on. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Hello, good, I almost said good morning. Good afternoon, how are you guys? I don't think I have vlogged since showing you Miss Butters' I Love Daddy t-shirt. Um, so, uh, what did we do after that? I was actually very productive. So I actually tidied up our laundry room. <laughs> That's how exciting my life is right now. Uh, so I thought I would show you what I did in there. Are you, would you be interested in, in my laundry room? Well, I will tell you this before I walk you over there. Before I moved here to Vegas, I never ever had any such laundry room to myself. The last apartment we lived in in New York, we had, we actually had a washer and a dryer unit in our apartment, which is like luxury in New York City. Generally it's, there can be, you know, washers and dryers on each floor or maybe in the basement of the building. Um, I lived in plenty of buildings where they just didn't even have them in the building. You had to send your laundry out. So that was a big step up. I remember we were so excited, but it was just like a, you know, washer dryer, and it was in a cabinet in our kitchen. So it was like no such laundry room situation. So when we moved here, I was like, oh my God, there's like a whole like room with a door for, for your laundry. It was just, it was very exciting. Anyway, I never really did anything with it. It was just an exciting idea for me. Um, so it kind of ended up being like a little bit of a dumping ground. We just, there was a lot of just like really <laughs> random stuff in there, garment bags, tote bags, like just really weird, weird stuff in there. So I cleaned it out, prettied it up a little bit, and we installed a drying rack, which I'm so like irrationally excited about. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here is our little laundry room. 
So, oh, we've been here before because I've shown you uh, Miss Butter's Weeby Pad. Um, so it's there in the corner. And here's our, here's our washer and dryer. So um, I used to have like just white plastic bins up there, which were really ugly and like old looking. Um, so I got these like fabric bins from Amazon and I really like them. They just have some, you know, cleaning supplies in there or whatever. And it just looks so much better. This one's actually empty, which is why it's kind of like falling on itself. But we're going to end up using this one probably as like a little bit of a hamper to put like dirty stuff in down here before we're ready to do a load. Um, but this is the drying rack. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Okay. So these are uh, Miss Butter's Weeby Pads. And so, you know, I have to do some of her Weeby Pads probably every other day. And before, if we were drying it, or drying anything actually that we didn't want to actually put in the dryer, we would just fling it all over the house. It would be on our chairs, uh, over a door, on the towel rack in our little like half bath down here. It, it was just kind of a mess. And so, you know, I didn't want to get a drying rack that stood on the floor because, I don't know, I just didn't want anything that took up too much more room. So I saw this on Amazon, this guy. So. Um, mainly what we're drying are her wee wee pads so i had to make sure that it fit her wee wee pads and it does so this is one bar and this is one of her wee wee pads and it hangs over it like perfectly i'm so happy all right so here's a drying rack um so basically you can push all of the actual racks back and it closes up how awesome is that so most of the time it's not going to take up any room and then there's this one bar here if you want to just like throw some stuff over really easy and then it just opens up if you need more and then you just kind of use these levers to kind of bring out all of these other racks i know i'm totally like geeking out over like the most mundane thing but i just love the design of it and i was like oh well we'll see if it works and we put it up and i was like oh my god this thing is perfect. So I just had to share with you that uh, little home improvement that we made. You know, we live in a rental, so it's not like I want to put a lot of money into this apartment. Um, it's not like, you know, I want to make all these additions or, do, you know, or buy all this furniture just for this space, because I do think eventually we are going to end up buying um, a place. And then I'll definitely want to, you know, invest in sprucing that place up and getting things specific to that place. But I've lived in enough apartments to know that like I could buy the most perfect piece of furniture for this place and think I can move it anywhere because I just love it so much. And generally it just doesn't work out for whatever space we move into or my tastes change or whatever the case is. And I just kind of always end up regretting uh, buying furniture for like one apartment thinking it's gonna translate well for wherever I go. It just never really happens. So that's why I haven't done much with this place. In fact, that drying rack, I think maybe the one, oh no, I have one other thing, but that's the second thing we've actually hung on the walls here. I have nothing on the walls here. I haven't hung up any of the artwork that I have, that I had from New York that I moved here. It's all still sitting in boxes in my garage. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm like, I just don't want to bother because this is a rental, but we've been here for three and a half years now. So I do feel like some home improvements need to be made. So I wanted to show you guys um, that little improvement. I was really kind of surprised at how much like joy that brought me, like how happy I am now to like go into that laundry room. It was just never, ever a thought. I never thought it would have been a thought. Um, or concern of mine, but yeah, it was just, just to spruce it up and clean it up just that little bit. I was like, oh, this seems so nice. I am just kind of putzing around today. I have been doing a lot of like cleaning up and stuff and um, I have a video ready to go for tomorrow, so I don't need to film today. So I'm barefaced today. So yeah, I'm just kind of like tidying up and I'm waiting until uh, four o'clock, which is when I have to go pick up Miss Butters from daycare. She's there today. It's a really, really hot day. It's actually going to be a really hot week here. And um, it's better if I take her to daycare on these really hot days because we can't, we can't walk her like midday. And so she's just sitting here all day. Um, and at least at daycare, they have a really big like house also. I mean, they have a lot of land, which is generally where the dogs are running around. But when it's this hot, they usually just kind of keep them inside and it's huge and it's just for dogs to run around in. So they're, she's just running around all day. So anyway, it's better that I take her on these really hot days. So I'm just like 
counting the minutes until I get pick up my baby. I just, I miss her. I miss her when I take her to daycare, but it's better for her. Good morning. How are you guys? We are starting this vlog off on a very sunny Las Vegas day. I think I've been talking about this a lot, but we're going through quite a bit of a heat spell. It's, um, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and it's already about like 98 degrees out scary. So I'm going to take you on a little bit of a ride with me. I placed an order on Nordstrom and I decided to do curbside pickup. I was thinking about, you know, going in store because our, our mall and, you know, Nordstrom is open now. Um, so I was going to just go and do a little bit of shopping today. Um, but I decided to do curbside pickup off of their uh, website because it's kind of scary, but the numbers here, the coronavirus COVID numbers are growing. Um, they've been really spiking. The numbers have been spiking so drastically um, in states kind of around us like Arizona. I think Utah is growing. I think LA is consistently growing. And now here in Vegas, Nevada, um, it has been growing. The numbers have been really getting up there. So while I felt a little tentative before about you know going to the strip or going out, I feel like I need to go back into quarantine mode. So that's why we decided to do the curbside pickup with Nordstrom. I just think that's the safest bet. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, let me show you my outfit because you guys, I got a full length mirror. I just got this dress so I just got this dress from H&M it's black so it's hard to see but it is like a button front v-neck it's got this cute like tie belt here and it's just super drapey and oh, I'm wearing some really old Prada sandals I don't think you can get any more so sorry about that um, but this is like a nice fun dress from H&M but this is one of those dresses that I've been loving during quarantine because I feel like it looks nice but Essentially, I have like a robe on. It really feels like I don't have anything on. But there is the dress. I have to situate this mirror better so that I can kind of get a whole shot of myself. Um, but I am loving this. So anyway, we are off to Nordstrom. So yeah, let's hit the road. The AC is on max and I'm having a Beyonce moment here. <laughs> My package they were so nice and it's like such a seamless process because you can tell them you're here on the app it's so awesome so anyway on my way home well hello I realized I haven't vlogged since I think I went to Nordstrom because the battery in my camera ran out and then I just kind of went about my day and didn't really think about it uh, but I didn't show you guys what I actually purchased at Nordstrom so let me just show you quickly um, but I think this vlog is gonna go up after 
uh, a video that I do where I feature these products. So you probably have seen them already, but in case you missed that video, I did purchase the Dior Backstage Air Flash uh, Foundation. Um, it's that foundation that comes in like the spray can. The shade I got is totally wrong. I purchased 302 thinking maybe that would work. Nay, nay, it was not good. I'm gonna have to return this. And um, I was actually online and I think shade 200 may work for me. So we'll see if Nordstrom has it. I would love to just do a swap of that. But other than that, everything I got was like such a winner. So this is actually a re-up. So I got the Tom Ford um, translucent finishing powder in Ivory Fawn. I actually had this, but I had to toss my original older one because it was, it was really old. It was like at least four or five years old. And it just wasn't it wasn't like very powdery anymore. It just was kind of like, it was just like dried up. So anyway, I went ahead and purchased this powder. And when I used it in the video, it was like, oh, I forgot how nice this powder was. So got that. And then I purchased a different shade in the By Terry Compact Expert Dual Powder. So I have this in Beige Nude and I went ahead and got Apricot Glow. It is so so pretty and if you guys saw this video i used this as a finishing powder and it's really really nice i kind of like buffed out my cheek area it was so good and then the rest of these products whew, i'm like so glad i got them i purchased this dior blush this is in the shade um number 219 this is one of the most incredible blushes i have ever seen it has a beautiful sheen it's like really 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 highlighty anyway watch the video because i put it on and it was i couldn't i couldn't like take my eyes off of my cheeks and i didn't even need a highlighter after using it that's how sheeny it is i don't know if you can tell in the swatch but yeah you'll definitely be able to see it in the video it was just like ah, oh, it was really beautiful and then i had to purchase another uh shade in the chantecaille le chrome luxe eye duos the ones with the two baked shadows I love, 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 love them. It's one of the most, I think, underrated, not talked about products out there. And this is in the shade Monte Carlo, which I've been meaning to pick up. It has that beautiful peach shade and this taupe is like, oh, it's to die for. So this was an absolute win. And then last but not least, what I got there is this Rouge Coco Flash in shade 114. I think, I think the name is pronounced on day. Not sure, but this color is like the most perfect spring summer color I've come across. And this Rouge Coco Flash formula is like perfect for spring summer too, because it's really, really light and juicy. The color is, um, it, it's like a sheer lipstick, but there's enough pigment there where like you can definitely see this on your lips. So, so good. So definitely check out that video. I'll link it down below in my description box, but it's my Nordstrom try on haul and Oh my god, I'm so happy with everything that I purchased. So that's what I, you know, use the curbside pickup for. And that's it. I just finished filming. Um, I've had a pretty active morning already. I went out for a jog. I actually woke up at 5.30 to go running because it's been so hot. So I left at about 5.45 and it was, it was warm, but like the air like the air, the little bit of breeze that was going on felt kind of cool. It was actually really nice because at night the wind will be blowing, but it really just feels like someone's pointing a hairdryer at you or you're like walking by the back of a bus or something. So that was really nice. I'm glad I, I kind of got my butt in gear <laughs> and, and got up and went running because it was, it was really nice. Then I took Butters to daycare. Um, she needs to play with her friends. Uh, so we took her to daycare. I had some breakfast and then, you know, showered and started filming. So. so that's all I've been doing today. This look that I filmed is actually a foundation-free look because I just got the Victoria Beckham uh, new Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer in the shade Golden. So that's what I have on my skin. It's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Mm -hmm.